Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the West Monroe Sports and Events here in West Monroe, Louisiana, where we are at the U.S. Olympic Team Trials Table Tennis. We are about to start our first match of this event. We have Armand Dalamal, USATT rating 22-23 against Nandan Naresh, USATT rated 2670. My name is Jimmy Butler. Great to have all of you with us here today. And we look forward to an exciting event over these next four days to find out who will be on the U.S. Olympic table tennis team in Paris for 2024. Time. 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 Naresh doing a great job there of keeping those receives low to the net, giving Dalamal problems. Great. Oh, that was a good point there. Great backhand by Naresh, but Dalmo with a incredible get there. Great defense by Dalmo. And there's the best rally of the game so far this match right there. Naresh taking a 6-3 lead. Oh, beautiful backhand there by Naresh. Dalamal came in. Banana flicked at the ball, went too slow and too high, and Naresh punished it. Oh, I love that receive there by Naresh. That was too good. That is one of the newer shots in the game. You're starting to see some of these professional athletes do that receive you saw right there. Five, three. 
What? Interesting motion there by Naresh. Check out his bracket. Flips it around at the very end, and he's getting a heavy spin on that serve. Dalamal dumping that ball in the bottom of the net. Naresh wins the first game. Zero what? Watch the serve here. Watch his racket, and then he flicks it at the end. Get that serve. Interesting motion. The ref's doing some target practice there. Working on his power game, just ripping every ball. Good job by Alamal hanging in that point. There's another nice serve by Naresh. Alamal having trouble with the serve of Naresh. Great, come on. Okay. Hi. Oh, great flick there by Dalamal. Started with a good serve. Fooled Naresh with the spin, got Naresh to pop it up, and then a great flick to finish the point. Seven, cool. That's a beautiful forehand down the line loop there by Naresh. It takes an eight four lead. Four.
So we have a 450 point difference in rating here. It's kind of a cool. This matches an example of the difference of 450 points. You can kind of see what a player like Zalamal is having trouble with when he's playing someone that much higher than him. Oh, that was a vicious undercut there by Naresh. Great creativity. Cool. A lot of creativity out there by Naresh. Missed the end of that point there on the replay, but Naresh bringing out his bag of tricks. Oh, he gave an opportunity for Dalamal to go around the net on that serve. Dalamal did not take it, decided to loop that ball over the net and missed it. So yeah, this is a good example of the difference between 450 points. It all starts with the serve. Dalamal having a lot of problems with the serve of Naresh. Trouble dealing and understanding the spin and able to make a good receive. So it starts there. And also Naresh moves quite a bit faster. And so Dalamal having trouble keeping up with the speed of Naresh. And this is very normal. Anytime two athletes are playing and you have a guy 450 points higher than you in USHT rating, you're generally going to be behind in all aspects of the game. Serve, receive, speed, spin. And so we're kind of seeing that here now. Very rarely do you ever see an upset happen with that kind of rating difference at the highest levels. It might be more prevalent if some one was 1,200 against a guy that's like 1,700. Although that doesn't happen often, that's more likely to happen than when you get to this level. When you're talking 20 to 2,600, you almost never see an upset. The level difference is so great. So let's watch here. When Dalamal serves, watch the receive of Naray. See, he jams him relatively quick. Dalamal not used to the receive being jammed so quickly, and he immediately had trouble there. There's another serve. That ball went into the net. Great. Some nerves going on, perhaps. That's the second miss serve we've seen by Dalamal this match. And so this is a great experience for Dalamal to be out here. A featured court in the Olympic trials. Playing Nanda Naresh, one of the best players in the country. Dalamal's corner took a timeout after that miss serve. We're already in the third game. He's down 2 0. You get one timeout per match on table tennis. And Dalamal's team said, hey, let's take it right now in this third game while we still can and see if we can put a few good points together. That was a good on it, just couldn't execute it, barely missed it off the end. Oh, great rally. 
by both athletes. Best rally of the match. Oh, that serve was so spinny. And there you saw Dolomol dump it into the bottom of the net. Great job there by Dolomol. Putting that ball on the table. Just get it on the table. Give yourself a chance to win the point, which is exactly what he did. Very right, good. Sequence there by Dolomol. Great job to keep himself in this game. Five. Seven. Backhand wrist action of Naresh there. One of his best shots. And there's another spinny serve by Naresh. Tricking Dalamal. Got him to pop it off the end of the table. Right here. Didn't get to see that replay finish, but that ball hit the edge of the table. Good. That came from. And you're up nine to five and two to zero. Sometimes we'll see players get real creative. There's another creative shot. Rick Rush. Clearly been working on that shot. I haven't seen him do it often before, and he's done it many times this match. So it's something he's looking to use the rest of this tournament. And Naresh here with another match point. And there we have it. Nandan Naresh wins his first match, 3-0. to zero. And we are off to the races at the U.S. Olympic Team Trials Table Tennis in West Monroe, Louisiana. The first round is in the books. And we will go to the next round immediately. We do have a time schedule here. And if you were to look at the time schedule, it would show the next match starting at 1030. But in reality, all matches will begin immediately after the previous match is finished. So what that means is the next match will start as soon as they can get the athletes out into the court. And that's how this whole tournament will be going. Matches will play immediately after each other, so you're not going to see much of a break after a match. So we will be starting the next match shortly. Stay with us. My name is Jimmy Butler, and it's great to have all of you here with us today.
Aye. Okay, this is the best number five. And Fed showed the money, family to all. All right, here we go. We have Ved Chef 2606 USATT rating against Tony Wynn, rated 1271. For the viewers out there, there's a lot of people out there. They're going to be somewhere around. Around the twenty or the twelve seventy one rating range. Well, this is what it would be like if this was you out there playing in the Olympic trials against a twenty six hundred player on the feature court, and Tony Wynn is getting that opportunity today. One of the fun and beautiful things about the U.S. Olympic trials is anyone can enter. There is not a qualification stage to make it to this point. So anyone is eligible to enter and to play out there and give it a shot. And so what a great experience here for Tony Wynn to be out there today. better players in the country. And one thing Wynn might not be used to is you're also going to be under a microscope by those umpires. And Wynn was getting warned about some of the details of his serve there. And it made him miss the next serve. So it can be a little nerve-wracking when you're not used to being in these situations. Nerve-wracking enough if you're Wynn just being out there on the feature court. And then you've got the umpires dissecting your serve, which you're not probably used to at home. And when you combine all those things, that's what kind of makes this fun. It's a new experience. I've played in many of these Olympic trials myself previously. My name is Jimmy Butler. I'm a two-time U.S. Olympian. I made the Olympic team in 1992 and in 1996. And I can tell you firsthand that this is a nerve-wracking experience for all the players out there, whether you're the number one seed or whether you're Tony Wynn. There's a lot of pressure out there for all these athletes. If you're Tony Wynn, you just want to play well, try to get a few points, and enjoy yourself. Well, hey, that'll make you nervous. If you're Seth out there, he's trying to make the Olympic team that will make him nervous. It's such an important event for all the athletes, which is why it makes it one of the more exciting events to watch of the year. That's what happens if you serve slow to your opponent's middle when he's 2,600. He's going to clean that ball up so that deep serve, if your win needed to have more speed on it if you're going to serve deep. Three qualities of a good deep serve. You want your deep serves to be fast. You want them to be low to the net. And you want them to have good length, meaning you want them to land next to the white end line of the table. And the first game is in the books.
on the third of all. This can be fall. Service in the hall of the picture. And Let's see, here's another dissection of the wind serve, and that time he got faulted. So if anything, wind is those umpires are all over it, and they're telling them they don't like certain aspects of it, and I'm too far away to see exactly what the umpire didn't like about it. It's possible his hand wasn't flat enough when he tossed it. I think that's what he was saying. Was sure? No. I mean, fall. You notice when having trouble now with his own serve, and that's due to the umpires telling them, telling him they didn't like the way he was tossing the ball and now you see him miss two of his own serves in a row and so that's what can happen when the umpire tells you to change your serve you're not used to really changing it in practice and then when you change it out there in the match it can be pretty easy to miss it and that's what this all win do Let's see if you can get the serve executed properly and he does oh. Right. Four. And miss that ball way off the end of the table. That gives you an idea of how much spin was on that ball. I'm sorry. That was a nice push there. I win. Good job getting in there and digging that ball, keeping it low to the net. That sucked and missed that ball off the end of the tape. One, two. As this match is going on, you can see Wynn is starting to get a little more used to the spin and speed of Seth. So he's starting to connect on the balls a little better. There's another miss serve there. So Wynn having a lot of problems with his own serve this match. 
There was a great job by Win keeping that play. Forced Seth to have to get down low and he remains to put that loop on the table. Two. Receive there when doing a much better job on the receives, keeping that ball loaded from that. Got to keep that ball low to the net on the serve. If you don't, you see what's going to happen. That's easy pickings for Seth. That ball's got to be kept lower to the net. And if Wind could get that ball short to the forehand side, he could eliminate that from happening. So that's something he can work on. There's a better serve. That was lower. Side. And then he doesn't have to deal with that big backhand banana flick received there by Seth. And now Seth will have his first match point. And there we have it. That Seth wins the match. Three games to zero. Great experience for Tony Wynn. To be out there. And to experience the 2600 USA TT rated level play of Seth. And here at the U.S. Olympic Team Trials Table Tennis in West Monroe, Louisiana. My name is Jimmy Butler. I'm a two time U.S. Olympian and four time U.S. singles champion. And I have played in many U.S. Olympic team trials myself previously, starting in 19... Olympics was 28 years ago, and it is so exciting to be here with all of you at this U.S. Olympic Team Trials in West Monroe, Louisiana, and we will play matches consecutively right after the previous one finishes, and so what that means is the next match will come out very soon. And that will be the format throughout this competition over these next four days.